Clyde Property in Perth, award-winning letting and estate agents. Proud sponsors of Saints TV. When St Johnson Football Club was officially formed in 1885, Queen Victoria was still on the throne and the motor car had not yet been invented. At that time, the principal sport in Perth was in fact cricket and as we know, a great club was formed by the members of the St Johnson Cricket Club. The Perth public quickly warmed to the new sport as football was regarded as a much more exciting game. Yeah, this is uh, an early version of the Yellow Pages, basically. Leslie's uh, directory, uh, they issued a map with it, mm -hmm. and uh, this is from 1885, uh, the year that St Johnson began. And down here we have uh, nothing to indicate uh, St Johnson played down there, but uh, we know that they did. That makes sense from the research I've done, in, in as much as uh, Baxter's book um, and local reports indicate that we played on the western side of the South Inch. Clearly the, from this map it confirms that the eastern side along Shore Road and the, the, the prison end was actually a bog. So it would make no sense whatsoever to try and play uh, football on a bog. Um, brings you back to the other side where in the past cricket uh, was played at the, the north end uh, of the inch and uh, the football pitches would have been on either side of the pathway that divides from south to north going up towards Marshall Place. So um, it just confirms uh, our belief that the, the game was played in this little section here. Um, exactly which pitch is impossible to say, but the uh, best location we can get and the best nail down is on, on this uh, particular quadrant here. I know this is the inch, so um, to be informed this was where the, the very first match took place is strange, but obviously great as well because the, the, the pitch is still here. I'm sure it's changed a lot, but still standing. 130 years is a long time, but um, to start here and 130 years on, it's, it's up at McDermott now, um, with a couple of places in between, so it's in decent nick, but what, what nick it was in, in back then, I'm not so sure, but great as I say that, that it's still going and um, you can still come down for, for a kick about and the, the memories that would have happened here. It all started a long time ago and whether, whether you could have seen it still going now, um, who knows, but, but obviously still is and, and delighted to be a part of it. Right, so you've got your headline here, Perthshire Advertiser from the 9th of March 1885, uh, two days obviously after the game took, took place. And down here we've got the actual report of the game itself. The St Johnston encountered for their first match the Caledonian on the South Inch on Saturday. The St Johnston from the first pressed their opponents hard and Gordon had to use his hands frequently to save his goal from disaster. For the St Johnston team Lorimer and W Thompson at back played a grand game and Scobie as centre worked hard. Gordon at goal for the Caledonian played well and McDermott on the right wing played hard but he had a tendency to be rather rough. Victory resulted in favour of the St Johnston team by one goal to nothing. Well, I have to uh, profess at this particular stage I'm too young to have been at the first match um, but and match reports um, are not like the Persia Advertiser or the Courier or other local papers would describe today but in looking at what information is available uh, to us um, the, the pitch I think would have been a normal size pitch um, goalposts would have been different in as much as there were no crossbars in those days. Um, it would have been a piece of rope uh, likely that would have uh, been strung across from one side to the other. Um, 
players would have played in white uh, following on from the cricket club there are quite a number of team photos of the early days 1880s where they're all in white gear uh, clearly they changed for one season to maroon before going back to white again but um, what I find quite remarkable about this very first game is that it actually only ended up 1-0 um, if you think about it when you were at school or you were playing football for the first time playing against your mates or against uh, another local team as they did with the Caledonian Railway uh, then you, 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 you like to think crikey, you know, goalkeeping was an art and you know, defending's an art. Why didn't it end up ten eight, seven six, or you know, thirteen one, or something like? How did it only end up one nil? We'll never know. Uh, I think uh, the players that kicked to that first uh, ball in uh, eighteen eighty five would never dream of how the club had progressed. Uh, many many clubs, like the Poolers, Rangers, Fair City Athletic, and other clubs. Uh, that Saints played in that first season long gone um, and uh, as I say I just cannot think that the original members would ever have thought that St Johnson would go on to win the Scottish Cup and be such a major force in Scottish football as they are today um, it's quite incredible